Hello everyone, I'm Khuram and today we are exploring the complexities of Indonesia's foreign policy, economic strategies and geopolitical changes in the context of the BRICS coalition. Indonesia's economy is deeply intertwined with Western countries, particularly the United States. In 2022, Indonesia's trade with the US was significant and the US remains one of the Indonesia's largest trading partners. Joining BRICS could jeopardize these vital economic relationships. The fear is that aligning too closely with BRICS could disrupt these existing trade ties. Indonesia's approach has always been to maintain neutrality and avoid getting caught in the crossfire of major power blocks. This strategy has served Indonesia well in maintaining its sovereignty and policy independence. Then, there is the issue of domestic politics too. Indonesia faces significant internal pressure, including anti-Chinese sentiments. Since China being a dominant force in BRICS, increased economic dependence on China could trigger political backlash and social unrest within Indonesia. These domestic sensitivities are a crucial factor. Indonesia needs to balance its economic interest with the political realities at home, ensuring that any moves toward BRICS doesn't cause internal division. Now let's compare this with Malaysia. Malaysia has managed to maintain balanced economic ties with both Western and Eastern powers. This strategic diplomacy helps Malaysia avoid the geopolitical and economic risks that Indonesia faces. Malaysia's diversified trade relationship with nonce diplomacy have allowed it to join BRICS without attracting significant negative attentions from Western countries. In this case, what could be the future potential scenario? Global economic trends are shifting. The rise of alternative trade currencies and the move towards de-dollarization could pressure Indonesia to reconsider its stance. If more countries start trading in a BRICS currency, Indonesia might find it strategically beneficial to join to stay competitive. Joining BRICS could offer Indonesia access to new markets and reduce its reliance on Western economies. However, this decision must be weighed against potential risks such as geopolitical tension and economic dependencies. So, there is an argument that Indonesia trade is deeply intertwined with Western countries may seem less compelling with considering the figures showing a significant portion of its trade is with China. However, dismissing the potential impact of Western trade sanctions entirely overlooked. There are actually four major scenarios that Indonesia is taking care of it very seriously before joining BRICS. Number one, while China's role is substantial, diversification in trade partners is crucial for economic stability. Heavy reliance on one country, such as China, poses risk, including economic leverage and political influence that might conflict with Indonesia's independent policy goals. Number two, Western countries, particularly the US and the European Union, are significant source for foreign direct investment. Sanctions or reduced investment could impact Indonesia's economic development projects and overall growth. Number three, many of Indonesia's imports from Western countries include high-tech goods, machinery, and essential components for various industries. Disruption in these imports could affect Indonesia's technology advancement and industrial capabilities. Number four, Aligning too closely with BRICS might position Indonesia in opposition to Western geopolitical strategies, potentially affecting its diplomatic relations, defense cooperation, and broader international influence. While the, while the trade figures with China are indeed significant, the import of maintaining diversified trade relations, securing FDI, accessing technological goods, and navigating geopolitical landscape means that the potential of Western trade sanctions cannot be entirely dismissed. The intervening of Indonesia's economy with both Eastern and Western powers remains a crucial factor in its foreign policy and economic strategies. Let it conclude in this way, Indonesia's hesitation to join BRICS is not a simple diplomatic failure, but a reflection of its complex geopolitical, economic and domestic realities. While Malaysia and Thailand have found a balance that works for them, Indonesia's continue to navigate these challenges with caution. As global dynamics evolve, Indonesia's position might change. The key will be in managing these shifts without compromising its strategic interest. Do you think Indonesia should join BRICS? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this information helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you and see you again in the next video.